Hello everyone, my name is Alex and today we'll talk with you about one important and definitely valuable topic for you, how to source your app development properly. We'll have a three sections. The first one is about preparation, the second one about finding the right location, and the third one about how to find the right company into that location. So let's dive into it. For the last five years, I was on both sides of outsourcing app development. I was as a customer and I was a, as a basically a development company on the other side. So in general, I made like a 60 uh, project. And today I just want to share with you most uh, important points in each of that stages. So let's dive into the first one. First one is about preparation. So. Definitely you can have two reasons why you're looking for outsourcing. The first one is that you want to reduce the cost. So you understand that probably you're spending the, I don't know, some amount of money for your development department this year and for next year you're planning that you want to just make it a little bit smaller and outsourcing can be the good choice for that and it can definitely reduce the cost of budget for your development department. And the second one, of course, if you cannot find the, like, the person on your market with really specific skills. So, for example, you're looking for data scientists with some specific background and in your small town you cannot find that person. So, outsourcing can be also a good choice for that and you can find that person all around the world and that person can just work from home or from other uh, company office and be valuable for your business. Also, it's important to understand what will be the length of your collaboration with that specific freelancer or with that uh, specific um, development company. So if you're looking for uh, like really short term, uh, of course you can use some um, like freelance platforms like Upwork or Freelancer.com or any others. But if you are uh, looking to establish more deep relationships, uh, definitely you should go to those guys, you should meet with them, you should um, see how they are working, etc, etc. So invest some money into um, making that relation, making that proper relations with your development partner in the future. Of course, it's important to prepare all your documents, all your documentation, all your like user stories, uh, design-related files. Don't forget uh, to make a proper NDA. It's more for emotional effect, which you'll make for your development company as they will commit um, uh, that they understand you as a customer, you know. I don't know, but for example, from my point of view, when I'm signing even like a small NDA, I can see um, that customer like more valuable for me or some kind of that stuff. Because uh, I understand that uh, that person knows the rules um, that company want to be protected and of course um, feeling confident about working with me. Also prepare your business model for sharing with your development partner in future as it will make a, an amazing effect for them as they will just understand your business more and can be definitely more valuable uh, for your growth in future. Uh, for that one you can definitely use kind of like business model canvas or any other uh, ways of doing that, but please don't forget to do that as well. If you're not subscribed yet to, to my channel, you can go ahead and do that right now. Really appreciate it and yeah, you will not miss any other new videos in the future. Uh, the second point about choosing the right uh, country is about education level. Um, it's important uh, to understand how many new students are getting uh, the IT job in each year in some specific country. In that case, you understand how that country is growing as it can also affect your business. For example, if you will establish long-term relationships and in future you need more people uh, who will be working on your project, you can definitely easily get them if there's a lot of such people on the market. And of course, it will be much easier for that person to recruit that people for you. The next one is about bonds. Uh, I call it like bonds ratio, about how, uh, what is the lifetime of people working in some specific company. So um, I can see that, for example, in uh, Europe, people are staying like for 
like three, four years. And in, for example, in our country, in Ukraine, as the average, I would say, from my feelings, are like um, one, two, maybe three years in some specific company. And of course, it can definitely affect your business as um, if you have a profit and cons as always, and in one hand, you have that new people will come, you know, uh, they will generate new ideas. And the other hand, you understand that in some day, uh, some, some valuable people can leave and you need to be worried about replacing them. The next one is about cultural compatibility. So uh, why um, different people are, are understanding the same information in different way? It's because of their cultural. So uh, it's important to find the location which will be uh, really close to, to your mindset. Um, as of course, um, making some jokes also important and uh, definitely in some really like uh, specific points, uh, the people should understand you as, as, as you understand. So the same material should be understood in the same way as you did, as I did, and as other people did. And of course, if you're looking like just this, this, this other country, which is like just on the other side of ocean, you can definitely have that kind of problems. And of course, level of English, you definitely want to have a daily calls or weekly uh, agile or scrum calls and get some updates from people. So um, take a look on a specific country. What is the level of English? Um, and so, so, so you will not be worried about how people will communicate with you in the future. And the last one, of course, is geographical position and time zone difference uh, because Sometimes it can happen that you will have only like two or three hours in the same working day where you can be, have some communication and work together. And um, for some specific project, it can be really hard and it can be really emotionally hard. So um, take a look at your case and understand how many the same like working hours you should uh, have in the same day. So let's switch to the third one. We already prepared for our outsourcing. We already know or probably have in mind few locations where our, we want to outsource. And it's time to definitely to take a look on and find the right company. So for that purpose, we can use uh, some services like Clutch or Good Firms. It is um, a directory where you can find uh, a different uh, companies. You can take a look at their portfolio, you can see their ranking, you can see their feedbacks. And what is most important is that all that uh, reviews are human verified, which means that they are real and you will not be worried about that someone will pay a hundred people for making a good reviews for them. But if you are looking for a freelancer or just one person, you can take a look on such services as Upwork, TopTal or freelancer.com. Uh, and here you can find just an amazing freelancer for, 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 for good price in specific location. By the way, if you're looking for uh, amazing front-end developers with deep soft skills and also you want to hire them for long term, our company Avancons can help you with that one. I want to add that um, depends on size of your company, you definitely uh, need to take a look on the same size of your app development company because uh, in that way your ways of working and managing people will be pretty the same so mm, it will not be like kind of additional headache if you will start working with company which is like 100 uh, times bigger than you. And of course, if you're a small one and working with other uh, small one company, it will be like more friendly atmosphere. It will be much, much, much easier. So I think that we covered definitely main points of uh, how to outsource your app development. In next videos, I will share with you what mistakes I did and what other people I saw did in outsourcing app development. So you will not make them. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Uh, wish you an amazing outsourcing and have a nice day and talk to you in next videos. Bye.
You got me down again. 